You already know, eat less, move more, but here's what nobody tells you. Your body operates under completely different rules than a man's body when storing and burning fat. Scientists at Wake Forest University tracked over 1,100 people for five years. Women who added just one specific nutrient daily reduced their visceral fat, the dangerous fat wrapped around organs, by 3.7%, while others continued gaining. This isn't surface fat, this is metabolically active fat, increasing your risk for heart disease, diabetes, and hormonal chaos. After menopause, fat storage shifts from hips straight to your midsection. I'm showing you 10 scientifically validated foods targeting visceral fat in women's bodies. These foods create powerful synergistic effects when combined. I've spent years studying how women's metabolism differs from men's. Your frustration is valid. You've been following advice designed for different physiology. Women naturally carry 6 to 11% more body fat for hormone production, but during menopause, estrogen throps. Fat redistributes from hips straight to your abdomen and organs. Combine dropping estrogen with elevated cortisol and insulin dysregulation, perfect storm for visceral fat. I'm about to show you 10 scientifically validated foods that zero in on visceral fat in women's bodies, creating even more powerful effects when you stack them. Wild salmon and omega-3 rich fish like mackerel and sardines. Postmenopausal women with type 2 diabetes supplemented with fish oil providing 1.8 grams EPA and DHA daily for two months. They lost 1.6 kilograms of body fat from trunk fat, measured by DEXA scan. University of South Australia researchers found women combining omega-3 supplementation with moderate exercise burned 27% more fat during workouts. Your visceral fat cells have receptors responding to EPA and DHA, signaling fat cells to release stored fat while reducing inflammation. Eat four ounces of wild salmon, mackerel, or sardines three times weekly. No fish? Take quality fish oil providing two grams combined EPA and DHA daily. Chia seeds pack 10 grams of soluble fiber per two tablespoon serving, this fiber absorbs water, forming a gel that slows sugar absorption. University of Toronto tracked people with type 2 diabetes consuming 30 grams of chia seeds daily for six months. They lost four pounds versus half a pound in controls, with 3.5 centimeter waist circumference reduction, suggesting significant visceral fat loss. Every meal spikes blood sugar, triggering insulin, a storage hormone, Chronic spikes mean chronic insulin, leading to resistance and visceral fat accumulation. Chia seeds create slow, steady energy release, keeping insulin stable. Lower insulin means your body accesses stored fat instead of adding more. Add two tablespoons to morning smoothie, yogurt, or make overnight pudding. Drink plenty of water. Broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, cabbage? Washington University analyzed gut bacteria in 1,000 plus people. Those with higher beneficial bacteria had significantly less visceral fat despite identical calorie intake. Glucosiolates in cruciferous vegetables break down into sulforaphane and indole 3 carbonyl. Sulforaphane improves insulin sensitivity and reduces inflammation. Indole-3-carbonyl helps metabolize estrogen, critical during perimenopause when estrogen fluctuates wildly. Women consuming more cruciferous vegetables show lower C-reactive protein and better insulin sensitivity. Eat one cup daily, steam lightly to preserve glucosinolates, start small if hard to digest, Rotate varieties. Lentils contain resistant starch. That Wake Forest study found for every 10 grams of soluble fiber added daily, visceral fat accumulation decreased 3.7%. 
One cup cooked lentils delivers 8 grams fiber, significant soluble fiber, and resistant starch. This resists digestion in small intestine, travels to colon where bacteria ferment it, producing butyrate. Butyrate signals insulin sensitivity, reduces inflammation, triggers satiety. Lentils have extremely low glycemic index. Archives of internal medicine research found people eating legumes four times weekly had 22% lower metabolic syndrome risk. For women, 18 grams protein and 8 grams fiber per cup creates incredible satiation. Add half to one cup to meals four to five times weekly. Red lentils cook in 15 minutes. Ladies, if this resonates, hit that thumbs up now. It tells me you want more science-backed content for women's bodies. University of East Anglia analyzed 150,000 people over 24 years. Those consuming most anthocyanins gained significantly less weight, distributed differently, less around organs. Journal of Nutrition study had participants consume one cup blueberries daily for six weeks. The blueberry group showed 43% increased fat oxidation during exercise versus baseline. Anthocyanins reduce insulin resistance. Study on obese adults with insulin resistance found consuming blueberry bioactives for six weeks significantly improved insulin sensitivity better than diets without berries. Better insulin response directs glucose into muscle tissue instead of converting to fat around organs. Anthocyanins may activate brown fat, metabolically active fat burning calories. Women have more brown fat than men. Eat one cup fresh or frozen blueberries daily. Consume about an hour before exercise for maximum effect. The PREDEM study followed 7,000 plus people at high cardiovascular risk. One group consumed about four tablespoons extra virgin olive oil daily. After five years, despite extra calories, they had reduced waist circumference and less weight gain versus low-fat diet group. Extra virgin olive oil contains monounsaturated fats and polyphenols, plant compounds reducing inflammation and improving insulin sensitivity. Study on women found those consuming most olive oil stored less visceral fat, more subcutaneous fat, the safer kind under skin. Polyphenols activate PPAR-alpha, turning on genes involved in fat burning while reducing genes involved in storage. For menopausal women, olive oil consumption associates with better bone density and reduced menopausal symptoms. You need real, extra virgin, cold-pressed, dark bottles. Regular processing destroys polyphenols. Consume two to three tablespoons daily. Use as dressing, drizzle over vegetables, low heat cooking. Don't heat to smoking point. Your gut houses trillions of bacteria influencing where you store fat. A nature study looked at twin gut bacteria, one obese, one lean. Despite similar genetics, bacteria were dramatically different. Lean twin bacteria kept mice lean. Obese twin bacteria caused weight and visceral fat gain. Clinical trial had overweight women consume probiotic yogurt with lactobacillus strains for 12 weeks. Yogurt group lost significantly more body fat, particularly abdominal, versus control eating regular yogurt. Certain probiotics improve intestinal barrier. Compromised barriers let inflammatory molecules enter bloodstream, triggering insulin resistance and visceral fat storage. Lactobacillus gasseri showed participants losing average 8.5% visceral fat over 12 weeks in Japanese studies. Greek yogurt contains nearly double protein, about 17 grams per cup. Protein triggers satiety hormones, highest thermic effect of macronutrients. Eat one cup plain daily. Look for live and active cultures listing strains. Avoid flavored varieties with sugar. Add your own berries. Walnuts are unique. Only nut with significant plant-based omega-3s, specifically alpha-linolenic acid. 
two-year study on diabetes risk adults had one group add 1.5 ounces walnuts daily, despite extra calories, no weight gain, and reduced waist circumference versus controls. Harvard Medical School brain imaging, participants consuming walnuts for five days showed changed brain activity. Areas for hunger and cravings became less responsive to images of highly desirable foods. Walnuts rewired brain responses to junk food. ALA reduces inflammation. Chronic inflammation triggers cortisol release. Elevated cortisol directly promotes visceral fat storage. Elagitanins in walnuts convert to urolithins, improving mitochondrial function. Better mitochondria means better fat burning. For women, consumption improves cholesterol and reduces cardiovascular disease risk, increasing as estrogen declines during menopause. Eat 7 to 10 whole walnuts daily, roughly 1 ounce. Snack, chop over salads, blend into smoothies. Store in refrigerator, omega-3 content prone to oxidation. International Journal of Obesity Meta-Analysis Analyzed 15 Trials Conclusion Green tea catechins, particularly EGCG, significantly reduce body weight and target visceral fat. Japanese study gave participants beverages with 583 mg catechins daily for 12 weeks. Catechin groups saw dramatic reductions in visceral fat area, total body fat, waist circumference. Placebo group saw no changes. EGCG inhibits catechol o methyltransferase which breaks down norepinephrine. Norepinephrine signals fat cells to release stored fat. Blocking breakdown allows norepinephrine to work longer, more fat release. Synergistic effect with exercise. Women consuming green tea catechins before moderate intensity exercise burned 17% more fat during workout. For menopausal women, slightly increases metabolic rate. One study found 4% increase in energy expenditure over 24 hours. Preparation, brew with water just below boiling, about 175 degrees Fahrenheit, steep three to five minutes. Boiling water destroys compounds. Drink two to three cups properly brewed daily, one cup 30 minutes before exercise. Be consistent, results appear after 8 to 12 weeks. International Journal of Obesity compared two groups of overweight adults on calorie-restricted diets. One ate eggs for breakfast, other ate bagels with identical calories. After eight weeks, egg group lost 65% more weight and experienced 34% greater waist circumference reduction. Same calories, different results. Eggs score incredibly high on satiety index, keep you full far longer than carbohydrate-heavy breakfasts. Those eating eggs consumed significantly fewer calories throughout the day without trying. Eggs are richest choline sources, nutrient most Americans, especially women, lack. Choline is essential for fat metabolism, specifically transporting fat out of liver. Without adequate choline, fat accumulates in the liver, disrupting insulin sensitivity and promoting visceral fat storage. University of North Carolina found women with higher choline intake had significantly lower body mass index and reduced overweight likelihood. Eggs contain all nine essential amino acids, including leucine, triggering muscle protein synthesis. Maintaining muscle is critical for women during menopause when muscle naturally declines. More muscle means higher resting metabolic rate and better insulin sensitivity. Eat two to three whole eggs for breakfast five to seven days weekly. Don't discard yolk, contains most choline and beneficial nutrients. Preparation doesn't matter, boiled, scrambled, poached. Avoid loading it with butter and cheese if fat loss is primary goal. Meal timing matters for women. 
Research shows eating most calories earlier, larger breakfast and lunch, smaller dinner, results in greater fat loss and better insulin sensitivity versus same calories concentrated later. Women with metabolic syndrome eating 700-calorie breakfast, 500-calorie lunch, 200-calorie dinner lost more weight with better insulin sensitivity improvements than reverse pattern. Your body's insulin sensitivity follows circadian rhythm, highest in morning, declines throughout day. Eating when most insulin sensitive means better nutrient partitioning and less fat storage. 10 scientifically validated foods specifically targeting visceral fat in women's bodies. Wild salmon for inflammation control, chia seeds for blood sugar stability, cruciferous vegetables for gut health and estrogen metabolism, lentils for resistant starch, blueberries for anthocyanins, extra virgin olive oil for beneficial fats, Greek yogurt for probiotics, walnuts for omega-3s, green tea for metabolic boost, eggs for satiety and choline. You don't need all 10 daily. Start by adding three or four to your current routine. Focus on consistency. Give your body eight to 12 weeks. Timeline research shows for meaningful results. These work synergistically. Fiber from chia seeds enhances probiotic effects. Omega-3s in salmon work better with polyphenols in olive oil. Catechins in green tea amplify fat burning when eating protein from eggs. This isn't deprivation, this is strategic nutrition working with your female physiology. My challenge? Pick three foods you'll commit to this week, write them down, put on grocery list, make non-negotiable. If this gave you clarity on why your body's been holding stubborn belly fat, or if you know a woman who needs this science-backed information, hit thumbs up and share. Type committed in the comments if you're ready to implement this. I read every comment. Your engagement tells me to create more evidence-based content for women's health. Remember, your body isn't broken. You just needed the right information. Now you have it. See you next video. Stay consistent. Stay empowered.